Okay, so to use uh, to bleed the uh, uh, the uh, the brake pump, brake pump uh, fluid uh, packing brake pump, because I just replaced this part right here and the valve right there, somewhere in there. Okay, uh, so you gotta. I just put the truck in neutral, right? Neutral. To begin. To begin. Uh, do the bleeding on that uh, system. On that system. And I, I try it, but it seems it's too hard to take that one. The little on top. So I decided just to replace it. Those two ones. That one and and that one and it was hard to find it because not even the dealer have them so I called Napa and it took them a week to get him to get him order uh, delivery but finally we got him the problem it was Okay, so this part right here is all messed up, all uh, threaded. This part right here and the old ones, and I can turn it. I cannot turn it to bleed it. So that's why I ordered these to, you know, just replace them instead like. So the truck is, uh, oh sorry, I try to hold the camera with one well hand and the other one with the other one so I'm gonna go ahead and replace these two parts okay let me see if I can okay so it's like that okay Right, so let's go and do it. Okay, so um, after we I replaced the brake pump and the valve from the uh, bre uh, parking brake. The brake pump is a parking brake pump. I had to, um, and the manual says I need to bleed the parking brake lines. And, it's, and the manual says, just open, uh, turn the engine on, right? With the, with the engine running, put a neutral, and then come down in the back on each of the uh, spring brakes, or this, uh, and just open until you, you know, until you uh, have everything, no bubbles on the line. And then pretty much just like the, any break leading, but this is easier because uh, that's that's pretty much easy. That's all you have to do on each line, but just make sure you have enough and uh, the con uh, container on top of the engine. Uh, make sure it's not gonna be empty, okay? Okay, from here. Uh I just installing the new uh, bleeder, <coughs> bleeder screw to bleeder better, have the bleeder uh, just to bleed the line better and it's just easy, you just let the engine run and and I screw the bleeder bolt and let it run until there is no bubbles on the line. That's it. Just make sure
because this one was so messed up. Okay, so I replaced the old one for the new one right there. So now to start doing the, the bleeding, uh, splitting steps for the brake and pump parking. Uh, the manual service manual says that you gotta turn the engine on. You gotta make sure that you have oil. Don't let it this. Uh, so it's good. Don't let it empty out. Okay. So now we have to come back here and and neutral and turn it on. Okay, so um, after we I replaced the brake pump and the valve from the uh, br uh, parking brake. The brake pump is a parking brake pump. I had to, um, and the manual says I need to bleed the parking brake lines. And it's and the manual says just open. Uh, turn the engine on, right? With the, with the engine running, put a neutral, and then come down in the back on each of the uh, spring brakes, or this, uh, and just open until you, you know, until you uh, have everything, no bubbles on the line. And then pretty much just like the, any brake leading. But this is easier because uh, that's that's pretty much easy. That's all you have to do on each line. But just make sure you have enough and uh, the con uh, container on top of the engine. Uh, make sure it's not gonna be empty, okay? Okay, so this is the old ones. This is the part number for the new ones. Okay.